Check this out. This is amazing. This is ChatGPT creating timestamps for me automatically. Utilizing ChatGPT 3.5, I don't have to pay someone to do this. I don't have to spend the time to listen to it. I can essentially feed my script in and go ahead and get all these timestamps out. And we're going to show you how to do it. And we're going to show you how to use the free version as well as the paid version of ChatGPT if you'd like. And this is very powerful. You can use this concept to summarize really anything. It doesn't even have to be a YouTube video, but in this case, it works awesome for YouTube video timestamps to place in the description of your videos. We're going to get into it. Okay, obviously the first step here is going to be going to go to chat.openai.com. You're going to go ahead and log in if you have an account. If not, go ahead and sign up. You have options to go ahead and use your Google account or your Microsoft account or even your Apple account. You can go ahead and log in. And once you get in, you'll be able to purchase ChatGPT 4 if you want to. Otherwise, just use the 3.5 3 version, which is free. And it is awesome. So you can go ahead and jump into it here. And right in chat GPT here, we'll go ahead and switch over to 3.5 and we're ready to go right here. After that, we're going to go ahead into our YouTube video that we want to get the timestamps for. We're going to go ahead and click on the description and you'll notice uh, I've already placed the timestamps in here. This is what the end result is going to look like. It's pretty sweet. You're going to go though inside of this description box for any YouTube video, you're going to go into the, the more dot, dot, dot more, and you're going to go ahead and click on show transcript. At this point, we're going to see the transcript on the right side of your screen. You're going to be able to click in there and highlight downward and scroll all the way down. Now in this case, this script is pretty long and so it actually hits a limitation with ChatGPT 3.5, which just means you have to do this process twice. And so what I'll do though, is I will bring up a notepad and here I'm going to paste in the script. And right here I have the whole transcript that is inside of this. Now I'm gonna go right to the bottom, or close to the bottom and I'm gonna Go ahead and say grab everything up to 2903 just because it's towards the center of the list. If you look, you'll see this got um, about 694 lines. So if we were anywhere around 350, it would be good. So I'll go ahead and go up to this, uh, you know, let's say around here, support configure. Go ahead and copy this, cut it notepad and paste in that. So in here we essentially have, you know, section one, first half and then section two. And what I have typed out ahead of time and I'll place this inside of the description so you could use it. I will say this right here. So in the top of this video, I'll go ahead and paste it says, please list out timestamps for pertinent topics in the script located below. Place them in the format of timestamp and then a dash in the subject of the topic. Nothing else should be included. The script is right here. Here's a screenshot from my actual Notion uh, details for this. So I recommend you kind of store this somewhere and use it over and over again so you can copy and paste easily and you don't have to keep scrambling or typing out the prompt. But be aware of that. And uh, this here just to share it and to remember to remind you that if you're not using something like uh, Notion or even Microsoft OneNote, be aware of it. it can help you dramatically that way you can quickly search through your notes and store them in one location and access them from your phone, your other computers, uh, really from anywhere. And then I'll place that in the front of this too to make it easier. I mean, this is the first one, so we probably want to do this first. So we'll go ahead and copy all this. Hey, we'll start here with a brand new one. Go ahead and paste this whole message in here. And scroll to the bottom. You'll notice, boom, it already gave them to us. So that's awesome. And then go ahead and switch over to this second list. Copy all of it and then paste and submit it. And it's as simple as that. That's pretty amazing. 
Okay, now that we have both of those lists, we'll go ahead and copy this right here, which is nice. Paste it into a blank notepad. And we'll go back up to the very top. Right after the original list that we did, and we could obviously do that as we're working. And we can just paste it right here into the top. And so we have everything showing here from the zero minute mark all the way down to 47. And there's certain things like, for example, I put, don't want this one in here. We'll just remove it. And you might want to test things out, but the way you'd essentially do that is we would take this, you know, copy and paste it into uh, YouTube studio or in the video's description. And then essentially just because it sees the format of those numbers with the format of, you know, two numbers or you know, number colon and the two numbers and then a space with a dash, it took it automatically made it hyperlink so we can just click around and One jump more thing to that, here that I wanted to video section anytime we want. Yeah. So it works out pretty nice. So you could test it out. I recommend it. And uh, what you'll notice though is these are a little different here from... Uh, what you see essentially the timestamps are very close but I actually ended up using ChatGPT4 for this video just after I tested it out and here's the ChatGPT4 and it kind of uh, if you want to see how easy it was it's essentially it took the whole script I didn't have to cut it in half I placed this wording here on the very top placed the whole script and then automatically it shot out immediately the good section timestamps ready to go and in here you could tell it to do certain things you could put the timestamps at the end you just have to pretty much request you know tell it i want to place the timestamps at the end of the sections i feel like it's a little clean cut in the beginning um, you can also tell it to make the descriptions of the subjects larger or smaller if you try right here so make the subjects shorter There you go. That's how amazing that is. So pretty helpful. So if you're looking for something quicker than these long descriptions, go ahead and use this. And I might actually use that for this video, but I will uh, place a link to that actual video as well. And please check out the rest of our videos to see um, all the details about the live streams. We have a lot of contests and giveaways and please make sure to just check out the rest of our videos for more tips and tricks just like this. So you could save yourself a lot of time and money and headache to get some really great results with anything you're working on. And then don't forget, you can use the same concept to even summarize things that you're reading, just paste them in and get a good summary. Um, obviously you gotta be very careful not to put all your eggs in one basket and rely only on this because it can still make mistakes. It even tells you, you know, on every page that it can make mistakes here, as you can see towards the bottom. And so just be aware of that. And I hope this helped and saves you a lot of time. Please leave a comment in the description as well if this did help you or if uh, you're excited to use it and try it out and please don't forget to like subscribe comment share this with your friends and family